It's May. It's the middle of May. 2018. And what I'm getting ready to tell you I think is crazy. It's crazy to me. It sounds crazy. I've been blogging for over a year. This month. This is my year anniversary month. Is that crazy? It's funny when I sit back and think about everything that's changed in the last year. And when I think about the pure coincidence that got me started blogging at all. Which, as many of you know, was just bumping into the trooper randomly at Hollywood. <laughs> I've been asked quite a few times how I started blogging. And I think, uh, I think I've told that story a few times, so I won't retell that here. But what I have never shown, or what I have shown to only a very select few people, are the first set of vlogs that I did. Now the vlogging landscape is a little bit different than it was, I think, when I started. Not that I started that long ago, but there weren't quite as many poker vloggers then as there are now. Now there seems to be a lot, which I think is awesome. I think it's great. And I've had a few come up to me kind of discouraged when they see the quality of like a Johnny Vibes or Andrew and Brad's vlogs and then they look at their own vlog and think man I'll never get there or I don't know what I'm doing or this is a lot harder than it looks. So I think for my year anniversary I will release the first vlog I ever did which I did using only my phone and iMovie on my old Mac and it was like a three minute trip to Toys R Us with my daughter because I wanted to see how hard this vlogging thing was. And let me just tell you, the vlog is horrible. It's horrid. I can't watch it. Like, I, I cringe when I watch it. But I think it's something good to see. I think it's something that if you looked at my vlogs now and you think, man, this is what Jamin's vlogs look like a year ago. Like, I think the date on this is May 7th when I made this vlog. There's definite growth there. And then I think the next day, maybe a couple days later, I did another vlog where there was actual poker involved. I took my phone up to the casino and I tried to make a vlog like I saw the guy Trooper make. I wanted to make one. And I'll show you that. And they're both horrible. Let's just be honest. But that's where I started. That's what it looked like. And I probably made five or six more that looked very similar before finally releasing the first one my first day in Vegas last summer. So it is what it is. This is where I was a year ago today. I'd say enjoy it, but I've seen it. It's not pretty. But here it goes. My first two vlogs. And let's hope I can look back a year from now and look at the vlogs that I'm doing now and go, ugh, those are horrid. Hopefully I keep growing. I mean, even now, every vlog I'm learning something new. Which I think is the best part of the whole experience. Besides, obviously, meeting you guys when I happen to meet you. So, sit back. And get ready to laugh and throw up at the same time as you watch Jamin's first vlog. Oh, and one more thing before I let you go. Just to give you some more background. I wasn't a camera guy. I'm not a selfie guy. In fact, I'm still not a selfie guy. I can walk through a crowd of people and feel completely fine videotaping myself, but I still feel weird taking selfies. Strange, huh? So needless to say, when making this vlog, I didn't know the difference between portrait between landscape, I didn't know where the lighting should be, I didn't know anything. Keep that in mind. <laughs> also, I didn't realize this until I went back and re-watched my second vlog, but there's early hints of a mid-session update. The genesis of the mid-session update was actually in the first poker vlog I did, so keep your eye out for that. Alright, I'll let you guys at it.
All right, so, so Jada wants to go to this toy store. This Toys R Us. I, as you can see, in super lazy mood. I don't even think I'm taking a shower today. I'm doing yard work. <clears throat> but I told her I'd take her. So we're going to the toy store, JJ. Yep. We're going to have to do something about that hair. What do you think of that? What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go. Alright, we're here. Toys R Us. Me and yeah. Jada. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> we have agreed to go in and look, right? Yes. Are we buying stuff? No. No, we're just looking, right? Yeah. Okay. Toys R Us is right behind us? Yeah. Let's go see what's going on. so far Jada? Babies. Just a lot of baby stuff. A lot. Yeah, these are all babies. Yeah, I see that. Baby. We're still just looking though, right? Yeah. Okay. See with babies. Not, not for nothing though. Look what I found here. Alright. Alright, a very successful Toys R Us trip. Yeah. We left with what? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. We because came. We were looking. That's right. We came to look, and we just looked. Yeah, we didn't buy anything. All right. We're doing chores when we get back home. That's right. We're gonna do some chores when we get back home, and then we'll see what we'll see what happens for next week. At least I got this big ass cookie out of the whole deal. Motion on. Garage door open. Do we have everything we need for school? Yes. So it's 8.20 a.m. Uh, I'm about 10 miles away from work. Hi, may I take your order? Okay, go ahead and pull forward. Yep. 
I got a cinnamon raisin biscuit. I'm here at California Pizza Kitchens waiting for uh, Tyler to show up. Hey, what's up, dude? Hold on, man. All right, we got that back on the Nasty ass bird. Hopefully I should have enough time to change clothes, head to the gym, get a workout in, come back, shower, before my meeting. And when I mean head to the gym, that means go downstairs and work out. I'm pretty convinced at this point that the workouts don't really get harder, I just get older. You see that building right there? Inside that building they build ninjas. Ninjas for $125 a month. All right, let's go check them out. Make sure the car is locked. Okay, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. My game looks like complete ass. I'm up maybe 100, 110. I don't know, I've been in for, I don't know, hour, hour and a half or so. So just hanging in there. We'll see how it goes. So every four hours that you play in the poker room, you get a $15 comp. $3. He's here, Mr. Eric. This is Eric. The game I'm in right now is f***ing ridiculous, dude. Like the- I need to get a table change? You need to get a table change right away. I'm getting it.
not a bad session. I mean, I ended up 190. So, a little bit disappointed because my table was really good, especially uh, towards the middle of it, even though it started off really bad. I can't say it was card dead. I just wasn't getting very much action. But for a Monday night, can't really complain about that. So, good first session on the vlog. Thanks for watching. See you later. Well, let's see. I got the perfect story for you. Once upon a time, there was a man. His name was Jamin Burton. Reached the bank, rose hurting at the table. On a quest to stack 10 G's, nothing less than set straights and flushes. So when you see him at the table, come correct you bluffers. He ain't taking no shortcuts. He's all about mo bucks. More dough, more chips for the bankroll. Stacking chips like Pringles, huh? No can. Deuce ate off suit, uh, no hand. He fold them or hold them, show them just to sold them. One, two, five, ten, bring it on if you want some. In position or under the gun. When he wears a beaver t shirt, he's probably having a good run. From flops and turns and rivers, he earns chips off weak opponents. Who's eager to bluff quick? To be exact, and that's a fact. I'm George Wiley, Ed Jamin, your vlog dad.